Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day you guys watch this video. This is Stitch Etc's 14th Floss Tube. Um, I'm Ashley, this is my mom, Kim. Um, this is the second time we've done this video. Yeah, we were almost done. And, and I, had, I talked so much. <laughs> just breaks my heart. <laughs> anyway, yes. uh, welcome. Uh, welcome. If it's your first time, thank you for joining us. Yes. Uh, like, subscribe. Hit, Hit the, the bell. No notification bell. If you're returning, thank you for returning with us. Yes. Um, hanging out with us for a little while. Uh, so, it's been a while since um, we've done a floss tube. Yes. We did it in January, right before our retreat uh, mm -hmm. information. So, the retreat sold out less than two Not hours. sold out. We filled up. Filled up. Filled up. I say sold out. It's not a concert. <laughs> uh, filled up. So the we have two sessions. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one is well, they're both filled, mm -hmm. but the first one has a very large waiting list. Mm -hmm. um, the second one does not have as big a waiting list. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's still time, if you would like to go to the second one, um, and it is uh, stitching with the housewives, um, Christmas in July in Greenwood, Indiana. All the information is on our uh, Facebook page. Yes, uh, or you can message us. But, yes, um, whatever. yeah, so if you're interested in still going, I, if you put it in for the second one, there is a good chance just because people, you know, people drop out. Life happens. Mm -hmm. We, get, we it. get it. We get it. So, um, okay. So that we did that and we have had bad weather every week. Literally. I think last week was the first week in February. And we're getting it this week too. Yeah. Um, every getting week, like an inch and a half ready. Uh, we get it every week and I live out in the country. And I do not want her driving on this road. Because also, this road is a state road, but it is the last one in St. Genevieve County that they touch. So, I mean, we could get snow on a Tuesday, but they won't touch it till Friday. So, I'm like, I don't want her coming out sliding off the ditch with the baby. Because I'd be like, well, you're on your own because I, I can't get out. <laughs> she can't get... Her car definitely can't drive. I have a Mini Cooper and it just looks at snow and goes, mm -mm 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 -mm. No. <laughs> I'm not leaving. Yeah, so if it's, my road's bad, her road is... And I live in town. So, uh, I mean, like this, it's been, it's, we've had a lot of ice. So yeah. I look out and I literally, I have a bright orange Mini Cooper. Some days I can't tell what it is because the color, because it is coated in ice and it's just like, I'm not coming anywhere. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think the last storm we got like half an inch to an inch of ice of sleet and then it froze. And then it snowed on top and of it. And then it snowed on top of it. And so it literally took a week for everything it was, to it's bad. get off. So, uh, we've had bad weather. Um, my mother was sick. She passed away. Um, February 8th. February 8th. It, um, it was the perfect storm. She had dementia. It was getting so bad. She was in congestive heart failure. She was in kidney failure. Uh, can it, can it be sad and a blessing at the same time? Cause she's not in pain. She didn't know what was going on half the time. And one week we had to call the ambulance to take her to the hospital and then they released her and then in the middle, I, of, an storm. In the middle of an ice storm and then I said you really shouldn't because I'm going to be back and they're like no she's fine she's fine three days later <laughs> three days later I found her unresponsive in the bathroom I mean it's just you know it was it was awful and I had I put her on hospice and that's a hard thing to do um because you you mentally go wow I you know I, I some days I feel like I killed my mother and some days I feel like I didn't. I not even know I didn't. Yeah. Um, it's just hard, especially with hospice. It's just, it's just hard. And then like the, her hospice doctor wanted her to be put in a nursing home. And I said, no, she's too bad. And I fought him and, um, uh, she died less than a day later. So I was like, are you kidding me? I can't even imagine if I had to go through all that and put her in a hospital, in a nursing, nursing home. home and all. Anyway, it was awful. <laughs> 10 days later, her best friend, my seems like big sister passed away with COVID. So February basically has sucked. Um, February, we just, it was literally time. like retreat sign up, bad weather, market. Death. Death, bad weather, market. I, I don't know if like her friend was Lori uh, King. She mm -hmm. was Things By Us. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, pe people that went to my retreat, she had a booth there. She did the most amazing Primitive. Primitive dolls. And I don't want to say dolls because that sounds cutesy and yucky, but she did you know, um, amazing snowmen and Santas and, and pumpkin people. And, and I did buy a lot last retreat. So I feel, I mean, blessed that I, I, we have that, we have those. So I'm very sad about that, but, um, oh, but on a good note tomorrow, I am driving 11 hours <laughs> to Temple, Texas to adopt a dog. Yes. 
Not that I don't have enough dogs. <laughs> But um, the day of my mom's funeral, I found her on Pet Finder and she looks exactly like my Lucy that passed away last year. And I think Lucy sent her to me because she knows I needed her. But anyway, um, she was in a hoarding situation and they had 65 uh, tan chihuahuas, fawn chihuahuas, and she was pregnant and I think she had 12 puppies. And um, she's four and a half and I, she just needs to come home and be- Be spoiled. Spoiled, you know, because I think she's, her foster mom was great, but I think before that she had a terrible life. So anyway, she looks like going Lucy. Lucy had a pink nose and uh, Frida, I'm naming her Frida after Frida Kahlo. So her name is Frida, but it's Frida Kahlo when she is a naughty girl. Um, but she's my favorite artist. So uh, this is what I'm, oh my God, I just looked. I still have Valentine's up. Holy crap. Like we said, February, literally, poof, it's, I still have Valentine's up in my house. Don't look behind me. Just don't, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> promise next video I'll have some seat. No, I'm not gonna promise. I'm not. Who am I kidding? But anyway, I'll make sure she has some bunnies up behind us or something. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm driving down 11 hours and I'm driving home Thursday because we're supposed to get snow on Friday. Me and you know, I don't I don't do the snow thing. So that's gonna be a long two days. But but um, that's what Starbucks and coffee are for. That's that's okay. I need and to get I, I need to get it. Okay, and that's jibber jabber. Uh, FOs. FOs. Oh, we did this once. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> so. Alrighty. Okay. So. Emily Call Salt and Pepper Stitching. Um, I finished this this past weekend. It's part of a duo. I finished the Santa that goes with it, but. This is supposed to be a four inch, and she did it over two on fourteen count. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's seven count. Holy moly! Isn't it cute? And that's the fabric that's going with it. Uh, I love her patterns, and they are really fun, fun to stitch. I just yeah. bought her Americana ones. So that's going to Lonnie Bee Dreamers. Mm -hmm. And we'll include Lonnie's information below. She's the one that did all the pillows for us for our market. And or not our market. Our retreat. Our and retreat. she, um, I call her the OG of Project Bags. She started, first Project Bags I ever saw were Shepherd's Push. And so she is a finisher for Shepherd's Push. Um, she was, she was, then she stopped. Now she's picking it up again. <laughs> so um, anyway, she is super talented. So yes. this one is Country Rustic Primitives by Jenny Hoffman. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it with that fabric. That fabric. Um, I know it looks a little wrinkled. There is no starch to be had in Farmington, Missouri. Or in St. Francis County, really. So if you see any, let, let us, us know. know. And if anywhere between Farmington and Temple, Texas. I'm I'm am I am I hit a Walmart. I don't know. I'm like <laughs> or Target or something. <laughs> so um then here's some more fabric with this the ice skates. Stitching with the housewives. And then I did. And you know what? I put the patterns up already. And I know I'm a I'm a bad, We're trying to get better at I'm this. I'm a bad floss tuber. Um this is a and I didn't change anything and it came out a year ago. We put it on um, navy fabric. Yes, it's a navy 14 count mm -hmm. instead of black, just so that it would match the fabric better. And I could see. And I could see. So, and then here is more fabric, that. Americana ish. And then here is another stitching with the housewives um, on blue fabric. I didn't change any of the colors or anything. It's. She did that in like a day when we had bad weather. Yeah, I did that one day and the, the other one the other day. So I did those in two days. So those, um, I think it's done with DMC. I will say this, it's done with DMC and not over dyed. Just because I have every DMC there is, I don't have every over dyed. So okay. it's just easy Classic to just, works. Yeah, it's just we're easy. We're trying to work on that stash. We're on, we're in the club. We're yes. in the, we're in the club. Back so, shop club. Ashley did this. It says, Oh, Lucky Day. And that is by Brenda Gervais. Mm -hmm. um, her her St. Pat's. I want to put it on a white board with a uh, green fabric. This is, it's a 28 count um, mystery linen. I, I I really don't know. It's it's, it's mystery. I think it's the uh, a week's fabric we got at market in 2020. Um, if you, so it took me two days to stitch this just because I have dogs and a baby and everything. If you don't have those distractions, it would literally take you less than eight hours to stitch this. Uh, that was the easiest thing I've stitched in a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's done with, uh, DMC as well. Yes, DMC. Then this is also a salt and pepper stitching, um, 
by Emily Call. It has four, four snowmen together. You know, it like makes the pillows. Like here's the boy, then there's a girl, then there's a couple, then there's a snowman looking at a bird, something like that. You'll, you'll see what it is. When you look at it, if you go to her Etsy page, you'll see it. Um, I did this when mom was in the hospital because when they're on hospice, they keep the room dark and quiet and everything. So I needed, I definitely something. needed something to see because I didn't want it to be like, oh, excuse me, I need to bring in my magnifying light and... <laughs> Can you turn off the lights a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. So, so that is what we have finished, but not fully finished, but finished. finished. Then let's go, I'm squishing dogs. Um, whips. Whips. I'll do mine. Okay, I can take a drink. Oh. <laughs> Dog dog mom. Mom. For Frida. For Frida. Oh, it's coming. So I am, you know, only like a, not quite a year, six, six months later, stitching this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, mom. That, I got that done this weekend. I finished that snowman on Saturday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, one of those times when he was sleeping in the room. So I started working on this. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm either just really, I, guess, I don't know. I, he She's was, super fast when she wants to. He was calm. And so I was able to get this all out and, um, I'm going to put it on one of our pumpkins. Now we do have more of like the ship black planked pumpkins. We only have like 15. 15. Um, and then that's the last of them. Yeah. We can still make the pumpkin. Yes. We it will not be the, look like lined. that ship with the lines because... Um, we just can't do it. It, uh, it to do, to get that, you have to break a saw blade. So I said, okay, and if that's $125, but I'm like, well, if it gives it that look, we'll just replace I, the blade. He, Tra Travis was like, I hate this, but he did it. I mean, mm -hmm. he did it. Uh, we had, we had the good saw blade for smooth. And then we had this chunky strip lap blade. And, but it w caused so much, it, the inside of our planer blew up. Literally like blew up in January. It literally just blew up. And I said, this is me. I'll just buy another one. He's like, that's $1,500. I'm like, we'll just repair this one. Um, and it was like $300 and I just can't keep, then it was just, it was hard on it. It was, it was hard on the planer. So yeah. that will be the last of the shiplap pumpkins. That will be the last of the shiplap anything. Yes. To tell you the truth. So anyway, we still have some. We have shiplap. some if you want it, we can send it out. Remember all of our wood, we can send out painted or unfinished, just let us know. We'll be glad to yeah. send it. So, okay. Whips for you. Whips. Okay, so I, oh, I put this thing away. I put it away. Do you want to start with that while I get this out? Okay. So this one, you know when the pandemic started, Teresa Kogut, and I think I've showed you part yeah. of her before, but you didn't she have had, as much done. She, would, she did designs for certain stores, and if you bought that, then it helped that LNS and Blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So yeah. anyway, I have all but the bottom of her skirt done. And I ran out of 720. We've been to a million Joann's. Hobby million Lobby's, stores. Michael's, market, even. Nothing. I either forget or what. So anyway, she's almost done. <laughs> and I, want to, I don't know what I'm going to do with her, but she's. I just want her done. She's like so close to being done. I want her done. And she is on white chocolate, 28 count. I don't know who the white chocolate is. Used to be my favorite fabric. I love it because it's a little stiff. I love the color, but it's really thin. And it's it's starting to it's starting to not make me happy. It's just because that's big too. And she anyway, I'm I'm over her. We're having issues. Okay, so then this one I started last Wednesday before my set. Oh wow. We got so, a lot done. Yeah, so this is Busy Hands by Kathy Barrett. So there's the, the pattern. And then this is as far as I've gotten, and I haven't I haven't worked on it much, but she's she's a, a fun stitch. Like last night, after we got home, I did all the words, I did the spool, I did the little blue flowers, and I started on the border. So I mean, you know, I was I was going okay. it down. She yeah. got a lot more done than I did because we came home at what four? Yeah. And four thirty, I was in bed, so <laughs> I was tired. So then I have started this years ago, and it's a heartstring samplery, uh, great grandma pearls birth sampler. I don't know if you see that. So I started it. And anyway. We've lost the pictures. So we gotta find it again. I gotta find the picture of my great grandmother. I had it, and now I am not. It's, it 
I do not have access to it anymore and that I will not get access by that person. So uh, here it is, it's half done. Um, if I would just, just get after it, I could get it done. But now I'm like, well, I don't know what picture I'm putting in there. <laughs> but anyway. I don't have the motivation. I, I just want it done, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. So that is mm -hmm. our whips. Yes. So what's new with Stitch Etc? Not a lot. <laughs> um, well, we did uh, we did special boards for Judy Whitman of JBW Design. She mm -hmm. did a market exclusive. Um, it's a little red sampler. We made a special paddle for it, um, and it is it's got a special color red paint. Uh, it's not when we I hand mix the paint because mm -hmm. the red was too red and the burgundy was too burgundy, so I have to hand mix um, the paint. The paint. She sold out of them at market. Um, they're really, really, really really cute uh, so we were busy we were busy and still are busy doing that yes she's ordered more check with your local lns there they might have some yeah they ordered more at the she mm -hmm. sold out at market fat quarter or, shop i know we'll have some yeah cute really cute um then we then java girl took one of our mason jars and painted it white and she put the tiny modernist um mice on it and those mice after this this floss tube i will probably go buy them. I was hoping they were going to be at market, but they weren't. But they have them for like Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, 4th of July, back to school, Halloween. You know, all, all the mice are doing stuff. And uh, she put them on a mason jar and she went to the, I don't know if it's a Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Dollar... A Dollar Store. A Dollar Store. And it had this little banner, you know, with the little triangles hanging down. Oh, just go to her. She put her on Instagram. Um, you can we use, posted it on Instagram too. Yeah, so we now are doing mason jars in black, mason jar that blue, and now a white color. So those are we, we not new, but it's new. Yeah. Then, um, go ahead. Okay. Then our newest board, new, is our eggs. Ta da! They're about 11 inches high, 8 inches wide, about the size of a sheet of paper almost. Um, we have them in this purple. Purple. It's like green, spring green kind of thing. It's called, uh, paint I use is actually called celery. But celery. then we, you know, we sand them and stain them so yes. it's soft. And then a pink. And then we don't have it with us because it's sold. sold. We haven't had the time to make another one. Um, we have them in like a robin egg, Tiffany, duck, duck egg blue, blue I don't, color, know whatever you want to call it, that color blue. No. Um, now... We can do that in it. Our egg in any color. The only color we don't recommend is our yellow. Is a yellow because we can't find a stain that works good with it that doesn't make it look like the. So that's the only color that we I, don't I recommend. I think a yellow would be adorable, but I just every time I try it, it just. We've looks... tried. We keep trying yellow, and we're just like every time we do it, we're like. Ugh. It doesn't. It doesn't look right. So. That's our issue with it. Um, I want to do a robin egg blue for me and do a little speckles on it after it's stained. And do, um, it's an old, I think you and I, I mean, it's old people. Uh, it says nest. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got some robin egg blue eggs in it. It says nest and then it's a picture of a nest. So. I think I know what you're talking about. I want to do that. When will I get done? Fourth of July. That's when she'll start it. <laughs> but that can be out all year long. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I've always Anyways. whatever. That's what I want to do, but who knows? Yes. So uh, we have some new ideas in the in the making, I guess, mm -hmm. in the pipeline, but it hasn't um, yeah. gotten done yet. So now we're going to talk about market. market. That was so much fun. We got there. We left Farmington at like seven a.m. on Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, got there at like what three? No, Two, three. It was about one. Thirty. One. Oh, one. So I was wow. Ready at lunch. Ooh, I was off. One, one thirty. Went straight to Mojo's Tacos for lunch. We love Mojo Tacos. Um, I don't know if it. I don't know if it's just a Franklin, Tennessee place or if it's. But it is amazing. They have a cauliflower taco that angels come and sing when you eat it. Um, and street corn and pineapple, spicy pineapple, jalapeno Margarine. margaritas, and they had a cucumber spicy margarita too that yeah. Annie tried. Uh -huh. Anyway. Uh, we ate there twice. I, I literally, Annie and I could have eaten there every day. <laughs> I think we would have got some um, kickback on that. But um, I was just the driver. I didn't care. 
love that place. <laughs> I love that place. Uh, then Friday we shopped. We went to First Watch for breakfast. We and watch. I went to a children's cottage. It's what the children's cottage in Franklin, Tennessee. If you Google it, it pulls up right away. It has some Beautiful. super cute like beautiful baby clothes when you I like okay smocking um, what you what Kate Middleton put her kids in that's what it that's reminds the kind us of, of. Yeah. it's just and it goes from infant newborn to like 10 oh so I mean technically I could dress Ben in it but <laughs> I didn't see I didn't see oh, there's not Ben in it <laughs> But uh, Urban, Urban, mm, got Urban it. got some stuff. Urban got this heater, and it's like plastic that you can freeze, and some wood rings on it, so it's different textures. That became his favorite toy, so I had to go and buy two more because they cut it, the tag off because he was chewing on the tag in the shop. But then they didn't. His deal tag was off. if you lick. Uh, Urban and I had a deal. If you lick it, I have to buy it. <laughs> so he got that. He got a cow stuffed animal he got the cutest teddy bear you've ever seen mm -hmm. he got an outfit with a matching blanket for a wedding mm -hmm. that the cow also matches yeah, of course um he got a little outfit with fish on it with fish and fish tackle and it was what is it henry and me uh that was not the fish outfit the, uh, the other outfit is henry and me. me and henry henry and me oh my gosh Those it's are like a so pale blue polo short sleeve onesie that matches his eyes and some khaki pants just really cute things like i could have and we got a sleep sack for him oh and we got a sleep i could have spent mm -hmm, a lot of money <laughs> so. a lot and and actually i kept bringing things over and she's like he doesn't need that i'm like he licked it i have to buy it so <laughs> um anyway we did that uh went to joanne's they have a really good joanne's there just piddled around on friday morning and then uh market opened friday evening four we yeah four to four eight. eight and then saturday was nine to six, six. and then sunday was nine to four. four i have been to several markets um friday was busy Friday was busy, uh, but it wasn't okay. I have been to markets where literally you, you are like a walk. sardine. Two years ago, you couldn't walk. You're like, you yeah, know, you're squeezing around. Uh, people waited outside to get into rooms, this and that, and so like we, hours. We were wait. waited. We were worried about bringing Urban, and I said, okay, well, we'll just stay outside, you know, because yeah. with the stroller, I'm not going to be that rude person. And we didn't have a big stroller. We got a an little... umbrella, but you know, I mean, I still didn't want to be that person that's like, oh god, why is that kid in there? Literally, you could walk in any store with a stroller. It room. wasn't a room. There was, and like, I guess, I mean, COVID, there weren't as many shops there. And people were also kind of like, if a group of, like, if one shop was in there, a lot of times people wouldn't, there wouldn't be more than like two shops in a store. Mm -hmm. So oh, I did that. It was just, I was just like, I'll just go on down. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back. And come back. Um, that was a big thing. I mean, if there were at least two shops in a store, people in a vendor room that people just kind of kept walking um, another thing is uh the designers did not bring enough of their new merchandise i guess they were afraid one vendor said that they heard that that was going to be down about 40 percent mm -hmm. um so they did not bring you know because they didn't want to they didn't want to um, bring it down there and, then... uh, and have to lug it home and all mm -hmm. this it sold out it sold out i mean it was sold out by like noon on saturday it was if you didn't get i mean but there's just everywhere oh i'm sorry that sold out i just got here i'm sorry that sold out i mean so it's like i don't think the designers planned i i, I don't know i but, mean i mean it wasn't just that also it was some of them like we went to Trey chic and got scissors they can't, and they, they couldn't get them in and so that was i mean we're thankful that we got our scissors because we were the first ones in the store because they opened up at like 345 on Friday and we were just sitting around. Um, so, and like the, and then like the little, the wooden boxes, um, mm -hmm. Sojour has, um, they can't, a lot of the companies in France have Close. gone out of business because of COVID and they can't get people to make them. So I have a rather large order with uh, Sojour. I said, she's like, I don't know when it'll get here. I'm like, it'll get here when it gets here. When it gets here. Yeah. So that's okay. I mean, yes, I had a great time. Would I go back? I would get in the car right now and drive back. Yeah. Um, you know, it was just, those were the, I would say the, because we went to get a lot of stuff for the retreat. Um, I needed to buy the fabric. I needed to buy the floss. I needed to buy all this stuff. And those stores weren't there. So uh, can I, can I go online and place the order? Yeah, I can. Um, 
but it's just not the same. I guess, I don't know, if we were just planning on coming home. I'm, granted, our car was still full, don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we were planning on buying all of that there instead of having to oh, buy it online. It, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, I guess y'all want to see what we bought. So, mm -hmm. do you want to... Also, I mean, my little small thing. I left my scissors at home because, once again, I was not planning on doing this. But it's okay. So, I got fiber on a whim. They, um, yeah, and fabric was... Whoops. Fabric was, by Stephanie sold out Saturday I Friday. morning. I think Friday. Most of it was sold on Friday. Saturday, she was in. I heard her in um, Yarn Tree ordering more fabric so that she could dye. They were, I walked by there on Saturday night at like 3 o'clock and there was nothing. So I got a fat quarter of Cypress. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I think it's cute. It's 36 count. I can stitch it. I don't stitch it that often, but it was cute and it was like $15. So I was like, eh, I'll figure something to do with it. Um, I got a fat quarter of Latte from Fiber on a Limb. Um, this is 28 count, but just a cute, nice, solid khaki-ish color. You can always use that. And then mom got one of these too. I have a shop in that. Yeah. yeah, that has both of our stuff in it. This was just stuff I separated because it was like right on top. And um, three women sewing on it. But I can put my scissors my little suit, my sojourn scissors, because my husband last night I showed him the scissors I got, and he was like, "I can't believe you spend that much money on a pair of scissors." And I'm like, "You hush, mm -hmm. sir." But this way, because they come in cardboard boxes, and I just if I can put them in a wooden box, I'll feel better because they're not gonna. I I know where they are. I lose cardboard. I won't lose wood. My cats took off one pair of my sojourn. Yeah, but I know they're in the house. house. I almost get, they're under one of the beds upstairs, but you know what? I just bought another pair because I am not climbing under the bed. <laughs> Looking. For the, for and the beds are heavy, so it's not like you can really move them. Yeah. So, but mm -hmm. that's what I have right off. It was just right on top, and I grabbed it, and I went, this is mine. Now, some of this stuff is mine, so don't, oh. don't worry. Can't, can't show that. Okay. Okay. So this was the rest of Mom's tray sheet order. This is what she got. So I... Oh, I see it. Okay, so I got a scissor to put pouch. her new scissors in. Mm -hmm. These ones that she's about to show. I think they're very cute. And they're this was the only pair that they monsters. had. Monsters. I called them monsters for all weekend. I didn't realize. That's some. Isn't that cute? I love those little itty bitty. Those little babies. They've been calling me for a while. A long since, like I think last market. She was like. Yeah. So I got those. <laughs> And that, um, those will fit in. Then I bought another, this is the pair that the cats have um, absconded with. Even my cats have good taste. They'll appear. They will now appear. So I got the tortoise shell. I think what attracted them was this little bad boy. And they just grabbed it and took off with it. So <laughs> love those. Love those, love those. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so that was my. Oh, you got one more thing from Trishy. The oh. box. It's, I have to get it. Oh, okay. It's she also got a box, like how I did, just a different inside. Yeah, so I have to put mine in there so the cats don't pick up. Yeah. So there's my box. And I ordered a big box. A big, uh, yeah, a big box, too. They said, I don't know why it's coming. I said, that's all right. But mine has thimbles. So cute. In it. So I like it. Um, someday I hope to open my own um, LNS. I actually want... Um, she knows what building. I know what building in Farmington. I'm just waiting for that. I, this sounds awful. I'm waiting for that business to go out so I can rent it. Um, anyway, I think that would be cute in a glass thing with smalls. You know, like the, you can't leave out, out with smalls because people will take off with them because yes. they're thieves. Okay, like that. okay, but that's a pipe dream. Okay. So that's all of our Tray Chic order. Okay, 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 okay. We love Tray Chic. That's okay. like a dream. <laughs> that's, <laughs> our, that's our dream. Um, Fiber on a whim. Fiber on a whim. This is mom's order. Well, I just got, I don't know. See, I bought it and then I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but 14 count parchment. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Basic khaki kind of color. 18 count latte. 18 count pistachio 
Isn't that pretty? I love mm -hmm. that color. 18 count. Ooh, I love the variegation. Cornflower. I love that. I love like uh, this kind of stuff. I love it. I'm more of a, a plain Jane. Mm -mm. Um, 18 count stream. I'm famous for buying colored fabric and never stitching on it. Ever. I, I love these colors, but when it comes down to it, I'm a parchment, latte, ivory. I love these colors, but when I stitch for the company and stuff, I stitch a lot on, you know, Fiber. latte. Boring. Because that's what, I mean, people like. And you don't... And then the 18 oh. count. 18 count? 18 count Heather. I think those are beautiful. So, you know, why did I buy it? We liked it. Oh. She got it on the last day. I mean... So... So I went to Plum Street twice. So you'll find Plum Street later, later on. Mm -hmm. So I got the Corgi Caboodle. Caboodle. Um, I'm going to do a dog tree next year. So I'm going to put all different types of dogs and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I should have a Chihuahua tree, but I'm going to do that. You don't just have Chihuahuas here. Uh, mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I got God Bless America. That, is, I mean, you look at the pattern, you go, yeah, that's pretty. But to see that eagle done up. Holy yeah, I mean, mole, mole, mole. You guys know what it's like when you go to a store and you're like, oh yeah, that pattern looks cute, but then you see it in person and you're like, oh my gosh. So from Poutini, Poutini, when I think of stitching, this was so cute. Um, I want to put it in my sewing room. I don't know the uh, the little skeins of floss. Can you guys see them? Oh, they're so cute. That oh, they're cute. so cute. Um, I want to stitch. Wait, we, had, we have got things out of order. <laughs> That's, it's kind of mine. Uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just going to show you know stuff what? now. There's not going to be an order. Um, I try, but this That's is... That's the only thing we got from Rosa Manor. Yeah, but the freedom. And that bell is pretty cool. And, um, you know, Ashley grew up. About 40 minutes from the Liberty Bell. So, because when we lived in Philadelphia. So, you know, that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, there's no rhyme or reason, people. Just okay, there's no rhyme or reason now. We're just pulling it out. Okay, so we got these. Um, I think they'd be cute on a board. We, I'm going to have, I'm going to stitch one and have Travis do a board so that we can change them out. But they, they are so cute. I like these more than any other block of the month thing. Mm -hmm. So, those are really cute. Um, we also got F is for flag. Uh, I am not going to do it into a pin cushion. I, you can do it. Long. I'm going to do it long. Um, she showed it both ways on mm -hmm. her Instagram. I'm going to do long ways. The only thing I don't like is that it's on green fabric. I want to change it to like a pale blue, like a really, really pale, like sky blue kind of color. I don't know what I'll do. That's what I want to do. Uh, Erica Michaels. Liber Another Liberty thing. Liberty Games. I liked the drum and the strawberry. Yeah, those are cute. Very, very cute. Um, you know, they're just, anyway, they're adorable. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what else I got. But wait. But wait, there's more. Oh, there's so much more. This was a market exclusive. Mm -hmm. This is the day. And I'm sure, you know, your LNS will have it. But it was really pretty. And I like this. I like this, but then I also like it because this is the day, because Ashley's last name is the day. So this is done on the Barb's blend. Couldn't find any of that anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, it was R&R. &R. They weren't there. Yeah. And then also Hoffman was not there. So, yeah. Uh, what's unique about this one is I was kind of in line when she was talking about that pattern. And um, I don't know if she told you this, but her kids were challenging her to stitch because apparently... I guess I've never realized this. Plum Street, they, she does a lot of darker colors. And her daughters were like, you need to do stuff in bright colors. And you need to, you need to, you need to. You do the same thing. So she said she had to have a heart attack stitching this one. Because that's all in bright colors. But this is it's different beautiful. because it's all brighter and everything. It's really pretty. Okay, so there's that. Uh, went to, and I know I'm missing some here. Okay, so we went to Needlework Press. Yes. Uh, we had to order about half of our order. It'll come in. You know, it's not when like it comes in, be, it comes in. It is. Uh, so here's Sarah Allen, 1814. It was so cute. Um, here's George. And the blue. 
in the blue and this little and they actually found this little boy it's a it's a it's actually a reproduction sampler uh, he actually stitched this and they found him and he is um uh, was from massachusetts i think if i read it right i probably read it wrong it's it's in there they put the whole history they put in the there. history in there uh, but i i liked him with the cow i i have i love cows we've had this discussion i don't love them personally i think they're cute stitch Yes, he is from Massachusetts, 1845 to 1892. Okay, and I also got their a tisket, a tasket. Um, mm -hmm. And then it's, it's, just, it's just a bunch of little, uh, it says basket projects gathered for your stitching. Uh, cute, cute stuff. Cute, like little smalls, you know, just, yeah. a, just a stitch and not really and think easy about. easy stitches. Yeah. So you got those. Who are these by? Andy, Andy Bees. Bees. So she, uh, the Little Barns. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Autumn, winter. Those are cute. Again, cute on a board. I can put these on my colored fabric. Uh, Heartstring Samplery. She had a bunch of pretty things. Um, I got this one. It says, there is nothing I would not do for those who are really my friends. And love that. Loved that. So... I don't know when I'll do it. I love it. <laughs> then we went to Little Stitch Girl. That's all we got from her. Yeah, we got three things from her. These are actually in order. Uh, we got this Biscor New. I think it's cute. So, that's cute. Uh, these were adorable. United We Plaid. I don't know if you know, two years ago she came out with the Plaid Christmas houses. They were really cute. Um, anyway, I love the 4th of July. I think mom's favorite season to stitch or holiday or whatever is Americana. And I look at this, look at this one. There's a wagon with a tan dog and she has a, a dog that she rescued and it, it's got Chihuahua in him, her, him, whatever. Them. Um, <laughs> it, uh, so anyway, it reminds me of a tan Chihuahua and that is what I apparently am collecting. Once again, on the dog tree. Mm-hmm. Snow people, those were really pretty done up. Yes. So I did those. Uh, okay, this lady was so cool. Okay. I did not go to Cross this. Stitch Antiques and their reproduction samplers. And this one is a Philadelphia sampler. And we lived in Philadelphia, suburb of Philadelphia for 25 years. So I just, I was like, yes, please. Uh, she's the one that has done. Three samplers from Franklin, Tennessee that I have that I have not started. Started. And this one was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So look at that. This also went with hands-on design. It was a resting stitch face. She also had, or is coming out with resting beach face. She had, that was last year. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Beach face was last year. This is stitch face. Uh, I feel like that most days. Then more Annie B's that got separated. This is mom. It's mom's Annie B's. <laughs> There's the Christmas one. Gathering holly. Gathering pumpkins. Gathering strawberries. Do you remember last year everybody was on that strawberry kick? I bought a strawberry bag. I started buying strawberry patterns, put them in the strawberry bag. Haven't stitched it. <laughs> and that's, that's as far as it went. That's as far, oh, I need to get more. As far as it went. Okay, so then we went to Primrose Cottage. Oh my gosh, those girls are so fun. And it's, they have a lot of cute designs too. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's a cute one. I wanted, there's one and two of these, and I'm going to get it wrong. I think this was the first one. And then they came out with that one. So I was like, well, I just think I need them all. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, that. And those are those little wooden ornaments that Walmart has, has like a pack of six. Uh, we go crazy every Christmas and buy. Like ten of them. I think we have over 100 packs of them. Yeah. Well, because they went on sale the day after Christmas, and they were like 50 cents. And so we were like, 
mine. And grab I just figure them. I can stick it on something. So I, anyway, but I thought that was cute. Giveaway. I mean, we're going to do something with them. So we might as well get them. And then that was cute. Happy Independence Day. Like I said, 4th of July is my favorite. Yes. The stitch. Um. <laughs> Big shocker. Okay. So stitching with the housewives. Yeah, they had a booth there. Um and it's right off the elevator too. So their stuff is very, very cute photographed, but when you see it in person, and I've said this a thousand times. A thousand times. When you see it in person, you're like, Oh my god. I need it. I need everything. Yeah. You're just like, Well, I just want it all. Just give me the whole So I got that. Jingle Bell Cafe. That's anyway. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't even like bees. But it is adorable. It's adorable. Daisy May. So cute. And then um, we make a board. We don't have a picture of it. We make a sampler board. And it's big. And it has a <laughs> big. It has a rounded top on it. And um, some lady, and I don't know who it was. I took the picture. And I'm sorry if we I. We can't give you. We don't know who. If you tell us, we'll give you credit. Well, um, Yeah, it was adorable. So she did these backing up the trucks. Uh, she did a Halloween one. Yeah, and she put it on the black sampler board that we have. Sampler board we can do in, in any color. Um, so I bought. We had some. Yeah, we had the fall and the Christmas. But uh, I got this new Hello Spring. I got winter. I got Halloween. Of course. You have the picking pumpkins and the Christmas. Yes. I got roses are red. And these will all go on a sampler board on 28 count or 14 count. So I bought the Christmas one, even though, okay, we have it, but it's here. Um, Annie was with us. She's going to stitch it for me mm -hmm. and we're going to put it. So I bought another pattern for her to stitch it and put it on and then um, we'll put it on a red, a red sampler board. So it's super cute. I think we're awake. Okay. Well, you can get them. Hold on. The boss is about to make an appearance. So first night we went to Judy Whitman. So like I said, she um, asked us to do a board for her and she is the sweetest lady. I mean, she's just so sweet. Um, and her stuff, and I have, I've always been a JBW design because I like the French country series, you know, like where they have a, like, I'm just going to, I bought this one. This is the lion, and, but it has um, pictures inside the lion. I have got so many of her country French country design. So there's the boss. He says hi. Um, anyway, so I've always liked her stuff, but to see her stuff, she'll do like 20, isn't it 28 count over 28 one? 28 count over one. We were like, oh my gosh, is this stitched on like 40 count? And she's like, no, 28. And we yeah. were like. Her stitching is beautiful. Her putting together is beautiful. She's very detail oriented. I was just, I just stood there. I just stood there and I just stared. Shop like. At everything. So, I mean, she's an amazing designer, amazing woman. So, um, so I bought the lion. I bought no. the giraffe. I bought dogs in the round. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, and then she no. had a collection of antique red samplers. So mom loves red samplers. I have a serious problem with red samplers. So here is one of them and there's five of them in that in this pattern I can't talk and then this one has five this one also has five um these are beautiful I mean and I'm not I'm not saying this because because I, I these are beautiful they're really amazing <clears throat> so um really check those out those are those are awesome uh Let's see here. Don't you drop it. Okay, so then this one stood in line for an hour Saturday morning to get these. Um, he was sleeping, so it was okay. I stayed with him. Me, Mon, Irva took a nap. So uh, these are with thy needle and thread. And this is Rabbit and the Rose. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's, it's, gorgeous. it's gorgeous. It's it's really pretty. Um, then there is Keeper of the Pins. Love that. Are you going to throw up? It wouldn't be a floss tube. Without it would not it. be a floss tube without him spitting it. I don't know who, who 
is she? Regina. Really? Yep. So that it's very, very, very pale, almost washed out, but it's really pretty. Habble? Regina Habble? Habble? Uh -huh. Regina. Elizabeth okay. Hunt. I did notice a lot of red samplers and yeah. a lot of brick red brick houses. Bricks. Oh. Is this the one? I don't know. No, it's that one. Never mind. Never mind. Yes, and birds. Uh, this one has curtains in the windows. Yes, that's what I was trying to show. Okay, I'll flip it over. So this is also, but see, there's actually curtains. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. That's, it's a beautiful one. And these are so stinking fun. It's spring, summer. Are you so excited? Fall. Winter. Winter. So, so cute. I don't know when I'm going to have time to do these, but. It's with a needle and thread. We just need them all. I just need them all. This needle. Then she went to Blackbird. Blackbird. Um, I'd have to say this is probably my favorite. New one, Humming of the Bees. Um, it's pretty, it's very pretty. Here it is on the back. That's pretty. Uh, a Heart Remembers. Um, this was Barb's last book that she was working on. She was working on the hearts. But then they put in some old patterns. Mm -hmm. um, I have all the older patterns, so I'm like, hmm. But, um, those hearts are really, really, really pretty. Uh, like this is an old one that they've reprinted. Uh, this is a special kit. I stitched that already. It's in my hallway. But you know, that, you know, like Brenda, uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter buy all the blackbirds. <laughs> so, and then this is What Remains Is Love. That's been out a while. That was from Traditions, but she is now. It says it was a celebrates the 20th year at Traditions in Canada. Um, Anyway, she's now released it to the public. So that, there was a lot of stickers, sticker people. Hello for Book from of my, Days. Yeah, for the Book of Days. Um, February, my Book of Days just didn't didn't happen much. Um, but like we said, we had a lot of things happening. You know, they, these are, hello, Liz Matthews. A lot of stickers. This one is Lila's Studio. Uh, who is this one? They a sampler too. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. You know, will I do it? I don't know when I'll... Uh, it's just nice to look at. That was an extra. Uh, Ashley, Ashley bought this for me. Um, because it's true. It says, where my pets are. Home is where my pets are. So, yeah, I don't have a horse, but uh, I got dogs and cats. Do I have anything else in Cow. There? Don't have a cow. I don't have a cow, but I like them. But anyway, <laughs> I, I really like that. I thought that was cute. So, let's... Please hold as I'm digging through our bag. Is there anything else? Uh, I got stickers. I'm not, I got these resting stitch face stickers. I don't know. I don't just like them. So I think I did buy these. I bought these. Um, they're pineapple scissors. I bought these for a few of our friends. We have a, uh, a running joke with pineapples. So um, we can laugh when we stitch. And I, oh, I got a pair of those. Yeah. Why, they're in here, aren't they? Yes. Oh, here. Thanks. Uh, Urban. Um, is that it? That's it. That's all so, we got for market. That's a lot, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, this video's almost, almost no. 50 minutes. So, uh, next time, you know, hopefully we don't have any more traumatic experiences. We can get back on track. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you my freedom next time. Uh, Urban, hi. Urban, can you say hi? Dog. Dog. He likes he wants a dog. He's very fascinated with dogs now. We are six and a half months old and he's just like dog. Daisy's very good. Yes. All of them for the most part are pretty good with him. But he's gentle. So. And we make sure of it. Anyway, um thanks for tuning in. Thank you. And uh, you know, hopefully we'll I I think that was a lot a big variety of things. Yes. And then you got to see all some of the new stuff at market. Um you hopefully know. we cause are helping you uh, with money. shopping. Yes, you know, you can always hit pause and go back and write that pattern down. Yeah. That you need. Absolutely. <laughs> so, anyway, um, thank you. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Mm -hmm. And we will see you soon. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.